What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Gibbers. We are still looking for a solution to our coffee problem. But I am considering giving that to I don't think he's Yeah, I don't think he's I want the sticker from his Can No, that doesn't work, right? Coffee. You sure can. I need something bro. Gotcha. Yeah, you got that already. Gotcha later, Milton. I just don't. Does Kitty have old Zadok, huh? Totally. What do you mean? It's sad to see him drink himself into an early grave like that. Yeah, yes. well, my situation's not all gourmet meals and sleeping on fine silks either. Still wish we could help the guy out in some way. Preferably in a way that would benefit us, too. Remember? Reversing the spell? Staying on target? Yeah, yeah, so you're only for, thinking about so yourself. Help Zadok and get something out of it, right? What? Yes. I thought you were being rhetorical. She's not, not as helpful as I was hoping. But there's nothing in here neither. I just don't... I just don't know. I don't think this one opens. Fine. There's nothing in There's just nothing anywhere. <laughs> like, really. Why would I mix these? Yeah, but he only gets it once I have the alcohol. Can I give that to him? Better talk to him first. Fine. Uh, that's not what I, I want. I gotta run. <laughs> I need a slice of paper or something that I can put. I don't really have a reason to, plus it's locked. To put around the, the bottle, right? There's probably no reason to, to do anything with the oil bottle here. Can't think of any use for it. I mean either. It's not taking me anywhere. Not exactly, no. But what else could I do? Liquor bottle. There it is. <clears throat> it's a bottle of really fancy liquor. <sighs> really, it's the insane. label's almost peeled off it. Yep. Well, there we go. I won't just swipe the man's liquor from under his nose, but I doubt he'll be missing that label on the bottle, right? Probably not. So now we put the label. Yeah. Okay. Now we got it. We knew what we had to do, but we didn't find the required item. <clears throat> Which is quite the accomplishment when you have so few options of where you can go. But I really, I just didn't consider that room to be the solution, but it was the only one left. Okay, so now we give that to Zadok. Mr. Zadok, I got you a little something. What is it? It's a special kind of liquor. Very exotic import. Liquor? It says so on the label. Now, don't expect it to taste like regular hooch. It's very exotic. Supposed to have a real kick to it. Good. L let me see that. <sighs> Smells like nothing I ever smelled before. And I can't say it's bad either. Whew, what is this devilry, boy? Kinda got me feeling all fluttery inside. Special import. Supposed to really get you going. I'll say. 
Why, I feel refreshed as ever. It's like, it's like this curtain slowly lifting off of me eyes and mind, son. Whew, you done all Zadok a mighty good one. Can you get me more of this stuff? I'll let you know what it is and where to get it. But I'd like that bottle of whiskey in return if that's all right with you. Ah, take it. Who needs that stuff? I can safely say this has been a full-fledged epiphany, Puzz. All right, thanks. I'll take it. Hey, you remember my name. Thanks. Not a problem, son. Boy, do I feel good. I just might get up and walk around a little later. Good to hear, Mr. Zadok. Now that you're refreshed, care to tell me a bit about Fishmouth? What is it you want to know, Buzz? I got the bottle. I really got everything I we need, but we probably won't talk to him. Why is everyone so secretive here in Fishmouth? Where do I begin, my friend? See, your stock of a curse that wants to most of Fishmouth's residents' blood turn them into fish and toad-like things, and then they dig to the water. But that's not even the worst thing. <laughs> You'd How can this not the be the worst thing? You? Oh, there's worse. And I've seen it with my own two eyes. Hanging around the abandoned factory up Elliott Street. Seen them. Hideous fishmen and octopus like monsters. Caught a glimpse of them in the moonlight. Are you sure everyone Heard just drunk? Awful noises. Horrible. It were horrible. The curse. Nah, Buzz. It weren't the curse. These things were not born this way. They was mutants, abominations, cobbled together from fish and man and squid. The butcher. Squid That's man. Who whisper made those things. Who's the butcher? I don't know that, Buzz, but I suppose it's some shady character that's in cahoots with the esoteric order of Dagon. And they're raising hell in a fishmouth, raising hell, literally. How can I get to this abandoned factory? You can't now. They've shut off those streets in preparation for the evil festival. All right. Ever heard of a man called Bob Olmsted? So we have a butcher now. Maybe he is Bob. He's supposed to be staying at the <coughs> Finman. The Finman, huh? Uh, folks lodging here have a habit of disappearing without a trace. I wonder why that is. Sneaky fella, that Finman. Slippery as an eel. And hungry. What's this esoteric order I keep hearing about? The esoteric corridor of Dagon. Fishmouth folks worshipping the deep ones. Dagon's their high priest. Supposed to be this huge amphibian thing. That's what the festival's about. Worshipping Dagon. And sacrifices they bring to him. Sacrifices? What kind of sacrifices? I shudder to think, my boy. But what I can tell you is that they're raising something over in Crackham Bay. And if you ask me... It can only be the half goofa. Half go what? The half goofa. Huge, ugly sea monster. And yeah, I reckon that sucker's gotta be big. Since they ain't letting anyone anywhere near Kraken Bay for a year now. Completely cut it off. No way to enter it from anywhere. I'm sure we find a way. Swear to ask that already. Do we make a confession? Yeah, I've why not? got a confession to make. What's that, Buzz? The whiskey I gave you that you love so much. That's actually coffee. Whoa, 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 what? Well, I'll be darned. You sure I pulled a fast one on old Zadok, haven't you? Well, good on you, Buzz. But you know what? Good on me, too. Because I guess you can teach an old dog new tricks. I guess I love coffee, and I gotta live with myself now. I just might be hooked on it. Well, better than whiskey. You're right, Buzz. Mildly, yes. You're right, you're right. Right? Right. All right. I'll we're see done you with later, you, Mr. Zadok. God bless you, boy. Take care. Hey, we got an achievement. Nice sky aura restored. Where's my mouse? There it is. So now we got the liquor, and we got the the cookie. So we can give Finman both now. If I ain't mistaken, we can do that. Sup, man. Uh, God, you something. Got you a little something to wash down the cookie with. Let me smell that. Oh, you did good, stranger. You was mighty kind. 
Mighty kind, I tell you. Ah, I now hit the spot. Which one? And here's your cookie. You ain't tampered with this here fine piece of pastry now, has ya? Oh, God forbid, no. Down the hatch! Oh, I brought you liquor. Good. Thanks, really stranger. Nice. What? What you standing there all expectantly like that for? Oh, nothing. What? You expect me to kill over or something? <laughs> Boy, I got a stomach line with steel myself. I... Well, that worked. What the heck? I don't know what you put in that cookie, but it wasn't working. Nothing. I have no idea either. My roommate. Wait a minute. Care to explain what's going on here? Not until you explain what your business with Mr. Ormstein is. Um. <clears throat> it's a bit difficult, you know. <laughs> you want to fish? I'm returning his cat. Now that's our cat. And not really ever. Let's just okay, tell him whatever. I'll clean. I accidentally got involved in a mess that I can't make heads or tails of. That's why I'm here looking for him. I see. Well, there are two possible situations. Either your heart is full of darkness and deceit, in which case I suggest you turn around. Mine, and yes. Buzz is probably your not. Your intentions are pure and your heart innocent. In which case, we can talk. My heart is not full of darkness. My heart is not a issue here. This is probably the wrong answer. Let's. My let's heart pick is this not one. full of darkness. Boy, it sounds weird saying that out loud. I've been sent here by the voodoo gentleman. I understand Mr. Olmstein might play an important role in this occult situation I stumble into. Role? No, he plays no role. But what is yours? What part was assigned to you? Part? I'm just a librarian, sir. And this, this detective guy came looking for the, the Necronomicon. Kid type. Exactly. Yes. And then they kidnapped him. Kidnapped? Who kidnapped him? Search me. Anyway, I've been walking around with this Necronomicon thing on me. You have it? The real one? It's gotta be real. May my cat start talking. Sup? Hello. Yes, that explains that. Well, that's us. What's Olmstein to you? you I like Rick. his name so lightly. I let's just say I watch him from a distance. Try and look out for danger, pointless as though that might be. Pointless? Why? I just might be a fly buzzing around a lion. Never mind. I don't normally get close to him, but if you do have the real Necronomicon, here it is. Huh. <sighs> An exception will be made. Are we sure we we'll should show that? His room and we'll see from there. That's totally a great idea. Never heard any better. That room is kind of empty, ain't it? What else was I expecting? He's gone. Again. It might mean they're coming. We must stay vigilant. They? Who's they? Oh, too many possibilities in that regard. Oh my god, all this for nothing. It just keeps getting worse. You might as well at least tell me your name. Mine is Buzz Kerwin, and this is Kitty. You may call me Barnabas. I am... Uh, I am a protector of the other, a seeker of truth, and a hunter of evils. Must look nice on your business card. <laughs> okay, first of all, how do you know Don? I was the one who hired him to find the Holy Tome. It should never fall Make into the hands tome? of madmen. Why hire Don? Is he an occult detective? Probably no, not. But he is a damn good seeker. Well, maybe was. Oh man, don't say that. I'm sure he'll find a way to pull through. Madmen? What madmen? The parish of the starry knowledge. The esoteric order of Dagon. Or the... the Butcher. Starry Parish? Starry Parish? Foul worshippers of a thing called the Haunter, and the shining trapezohedron it dwells in. Ugh, geometry. That must make me evil. Geometry. Done with it. 
Let's try to save a word, trapezohedron. And I'll save it 10 times quickly, one after another. I've I'll wait. Esoteric order. What's Actually, I don't. Have you now? So you also know of what they're raising here in Fishmoth. The half goofa. The half goofa? The half goofa. Those idiots. Those complete and utter morons. They have hey, no you don't idea save it what anymore. that can bring about. Well, neither do I, but I are think. you going to do something about the half goofa? They've cut off access to Kraken Bay completely. But I'll think of something. I must. Let's ask about the butcher. Tell me about the butcher. This is not the place nor the time for that. But what I will say is this. He must not have the Necronomicon. You must keep it away from him. At all cost. Sounds like someone I'd stay away from regardless. <coughs> do not underestimate his reach. And watch your step here in Fishmoth. Well, you should do that anyway. the esoteric anyway. order are likely in cahoots. And they're everywhere. Okay, so what does he want with the Necronomicon? To bring this world to its knees. Okay, that makes sense, sure. Anyway... That's one way to use it, I guess. About Olmstein. Oh god, we have a lot to ask this guy. If you're Considering we have Olmstein, no time. How come you didn't knock Finman out earlier? That guy was definitely up to some gruesome stuff. Maybe Olmstein I'm not sure he's around. protecting Olmstein. He's following take him. him out. I had reserved all the remaining rooms just to make sure no one would intervene. Then you came along. And I had to be cautious. Maybe I still should be. You do walk around with spiked pastry on your person. Not spiked enough. But I'm kind of glad to be rid of it. Anyway. That's what I actually what wanted to ask. What did you mean by the other? Olmstein? What makes him other? Who is he anyway? Though you carry the book, you must understand my reluctance toward telling you these things. Still, see here. Though he walks among us, he is not like us. Oh, jeez, with the cryptic talk again. Can you describe Olmstein for me? Ha, huh, that would be futile. He might appear different to you than he does to me. Or you might see him clearly and not be able to remember it an hour later. His nature oh, is hard to grasp for all of us. But the voodoo gentleman described him as just, you know, some friend of his. Was he trying to deceive me, or...? There's no time to go into this, but that should not surprise you. Olmstein appears in different ways to different people. It is his nature. Wonderful. Changing subject. This is not really a changing subject, we're so, still talking he about does him. this a lot? Disappear at the worst possible moment? It is in his ever-changing nature, yes. But there is always, always a little breadcrumb left behind. Uh -huh. Might as well look for it, right? Yes, I will... I will trust you to do that. I'll keep an eye on the stairs in the meantime. <coughs> Get to it. <sighs> it's what I do. Should we do that in this episode? Nah, it's too long already, so... We finally got up Finman's house, but took a lot more effort than I should have just because we didn't look into that office building tourist information thingy. But hey, next time we will look into Olmstein's room, see what we can find. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and until then, farewell.